Hey, how are you doing? I'm Camo, and this charming little game is called Trove. Now, Trove is an open-world MMORPG-style game that features a lot of fantastic elements, a very simple art style. It's got, uh, oh, what do they call it when it's outlined? Um, cell, cell shading. Uh, it's got cell shading, and it actually takes a lot of elements from Cube World as well as some other games. I will actually say that this one is more like Minecraft as far as the building system. Um, and mining and whatnot. So when you start this game, it actually puts you through a tutorial and then you start here in this open land and it's kind of overwhelming because you're like, well, where the hell do I go? So to start, you start off as a warrior and that's where they do their tutorial. You come up to one of these and then you pick your actual class. Now currently there are four classes. I haven't played the other three extensively, but I've been playing my Draco Light, who's like a fire mage. And then there's a knight, a gunslinger, which is a dual, dual wielding gun guy. And then there's a Fae Trickster who, from what I understand, uses similar weapons to him. So she's like a mage as well, but I don't know much about her. Um, there's also two types of credits in this game. There's in-game credits that you earn through doing dungeons and whatnot. And then there's credits that you can actually purchase with money. So in each of them, you obviously will you can purchase. Everything in the game can be purchased with either type of currency. So, once you've picked your class... You then go through various portals, and each of these portals will go to a different level area. So you got one through three, and I think this is four through six. Yeah, four, oh no, four and five. And then this is uh, six and seven. And then this last one is eight and nine. And then you start getting into uber levels, and that's level 10 and higher, and there's uber one through five. Now the level cap is actually 50. So as you do this more and more, it'll get easier and easier. Now let me show you the actual building system that they have. There is an actual home that you can build for yourself, and you can also terraform an entire world for yourself. It's very, very cool. Now this, this is actually my home. This is the Tower of Power and the Pearls of Justice. So this is actually my house, and I built this entirely block for block. They'll give you like a base station that you'll go to and then uh so you see this little foundation that this is built on this dark gray foundation if you can you can build within that and you can build as high as you want to go and all of the blocks that i've gathered are blocks that were taken from the actual world and then what's also cool is you can build portals over in the other area saw that it was uber one you build the portals to go to better uber sections so i'm actually doing or uber three and yes that is a corgi. I'm riding a corgi. Alright, so when you spawn in, this is what you spawn into. You spawn into a flat land and then just a big old open world and you can collect all kinds of stuff. Now there's not very many people doing these higher level uber areas. There's, there's a good amount, but not on this time of day, I guess. And each world will reset eventually. So, this is a dungeon. And the dungeons will become more and more obvious as you play the game. You'll, you'll start to figure out what the dungeons look like and... Eh what to look for. And now you can obviously run with other players if you so choose to. I usually just go straight for the bosses and whatnot. Ow! <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I almost died. One of the other things that the Draco Lich can do is he can transform. Alright. There's one wave, and this is a two-wave boss. Well, I guess it's just waves of mobs. So there's different kinds of bosses, there's different kinds of items, there's all kinds of gear in this game. So let me show you actually the actual character screen. So there's a hat, a face, a mount, a pet, a ring, and a weapon. And each of those weapons can be upgraded. Here, let me actually show you inside my base. I'll show you some of the crafting systems that there are. Oh, this is someone else's, they're called cornerstones. So this is someone else's cornerstone. Yeah. So as you can see, he's decided to build the various portals. And this is just another guy. Now you can't go in here and start breaking his stuff, but you can actually go in there and start using his various um, oh crafting stations. I can't talk today. I think I'm a little tired. I've had a long day. Alright, so entering the Tower of Power, 
In here, there are various, there's a ton of crafting recipes. Now, these are just the crafting recipes for this particular crafting table. There's Chaos Forges that I haven't even goofed around with. There's Forges that allow you to upgrade your gear. If you build an Advanced Forge, you can change different stats about it. You can increase its Forged level, which is basically just its item level. You can add new stats to it. You can reduce the required level to use it. You can increase, you can upgrade the rarity. So, talking in like World of Warcraft terms, you can upgrade it from a green to a blue. Uh, which would increase its stats and whatnot. It wouldn't randomize the stats. Then there's also a ton of... These are all... These are all decorations. And there's a ton of decorations. Now, and like I said, you can build your own world. So if you wanted to make a world that was more, you know, fire-based, you can actually go in here and build a whole bunch of different things you would find in lava worlds and then you can also find more recipes more uh, decorative recipes there's storage of course there's a world spring this is what you use to terraform the worlds um, then there's a deconstructor you'll break your items down the various items that you find you can break them down for what's called flux and flux is what is used to upgrade items that you do end up liking so i can actually go in here and upgrade my scepter to something a little bit better. See, and you can see the change that it will give me in stats. Let me also show you the character screen a little bit more. God dang it. Leave me alone! Anyways, so this is... Really? Okay. Guys, guys, guys. You're being very rude right now. Thank you. So, back to the character screen. So this is where you can see all of your stats. There's magic damage, uh, maximum energy, your life regen. Now, there's not really armor in this game. It's all health and health regen is like the main thing. Your stats actually they also give you things like jump. You can have multiple jumps in this game. So I've got three jumps with my current setup. And then I don't know what superstition does. If any of you guys know what superstition does, let me know. Then there's magic find. Then there's laser mancy. Now, here's the building part of the game. When you hit tab, you go into build mode. And when you right click, you actually mine stuff. So there's various ores and whatnot in the game that you can go out and collect. And it's not just, you know, blocks to build stuff. There's actually ores and whatnot out there that you can collect. And then see if I switch between, you You have your heart bar, hot bar down along the bottom. You left click, you place a block. It's very simple. It's a really neat system. Oh, I actually collected another teddy bear. There's these teddy bears that you can collect. There's collectibles and whatnot as well. It's so cool. I have been in love with this game ever since I started playing it. Now, you can go over, like I said, it's, I don't know if actually, I don't know if I said it, but it's not on Steam, but they do have their own website, and I'm going to include a link to it down in the description. I think it's just trovegame.com, and you can go there, and there's various, they have it set up kind of like a Kickstarter. You go there and there's various tiers. There's like tier one, you get beta access, or no, alpha access and some other stuff. And then there's, I think their highest tier is like $2,500. And you get all kinds of, well, awesome perks. Like, I think I think one of the perks that you get to meet the devs, which would be pretty sweet. Because these guys have actually been updating the game. They've been keeping up to it. If you guys know anything about Cube World, they haven't been updating it all that much. They haven't forgotten about it. Like, it's not dead like a lot of people think. But it's definitely not getting the updates that I would like to see it have. But So, this game has getting, been getting all kinds of updates. I've been playing it with Jim Stick. Definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun for $5. $5 is the lowest tier. It's so much fun. And then you get beta access. And now I will say, this game has not crashed on me once and it's alpha that always impresses me to hear that a game doesn't crash even in alpha so go check it out it's a lot of fun i've been enjoying the hell out of it i hope you guys too and i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely enjoyed having you along with me in the meantime you all take care of yourself